Neuroplasticity is the phenomena by which our brains modify itself. It is our interactivity with our environments that modifies our brain, including on a physical level. So a virtual experience, just like any experience, has that potential. The idea behind video games as therapeutics really relies on that foundation of plasticity, that our brain can change in response to a targeted interaction. We are studying in our lab new approaches to what we call neuromodulation and neurofeedback. In order to do this, we had to create a new technology that we're working on in large collaborations. We call it the glass brain. What you're looking at here is a combination of MRI and EEG, where we're recording in real time what's going on in someone's brain while they're playing one of our video games. Each of these colors correspond to a different frequency and rhythm in the brain that we're capturing so that someone can actually navigate their own brain while they play. All of these different technologies from video games to virtual reality to brain stimulation to real-time brain recording, we want to integrate them together into one common training experience. Metatrain brings in the principles of concentrative meditation to a game-like environment to see if we can help people improve their ability to self-regulate their own internal distraction. BBT is a body brain trainer. It's a motion capture game. The purpose of the game is to see if you train cognitively, but also have physical adaptive algorithms. So your heart rate is being brought into the game and you're moving and responding to the game, not just with your fingers, but your entire body. Will that also lead to greater learning outcomes? We'll do MRI, EEG, stress testing, sleep measurements, some blood work, all before, sometimes during, and then after gameplay to see how these games really change your brain. Then we'll start moving them into other types of testing like clinical testing on different populations and then out into the world as products.